Part of my reason for entreating Rebecca to open the vault of obscure DDR games is because our old friend Felicity in Worcestershire did her one better by sending the Game Boy Color version of one of the most obscure DDR games. That's like layers upon layers. And it even comes with this object. Presumably a little mini DDR pad that you can strap onto your Game Boy. It's an adorable little idea. Unfortunately, it also doesn't work at all. I tried for half an hour to get this thing situated in just the right position and two of the buttons weren't responsive at all, despite my using the with DDR pad configuration setting. So for the remainder of this review, we'll just do this one on the Game Boy Player on the Cube so there's, you know, video and audio fidelity. You may recall that one of my grapes about the original Ohasta DDR for the PlayStation was the severely limited track list, consisting of just eight original Oha songs alongside four Konami selections. This Game Boy Color version just does away with the Konami selections. There are eight songs on this cart. And while the PS1 version had that strange card collecting event to pad out the replay value, this game offers none of that whatsoever. You get eight songs. If you like those eight songs in these tinny Game Boy renditions, because that's all you're getting. By comparison, the non-OHA DDR Game Boy titles had as many as 20, including some of the better tracks from the series. Tracks like Trip Machine Climax, or 1234007, or My Summer Love. This game has... OHA Ska. Don't get me wrong, Oha Ska is a decent track, and the game does its best to interpret these songs and their corresponding step charts as faithfully as possible. Unfortunately, it's doing so on limited hardware and without a decent input device, regardless of what piece of cockamamie plastic they try to bundle with it. The net result is that, well, if you were a kid in the late 90s and you liked DDR and you liked Oha Ska and you wanted to take those songs with you wherever you went just to drive your parents insane, this would be the perfect game. And if any of you listening to this just happen to be in that situation, I will eat my hat. And I don't even have a hat. I'd go buy a hat just to eat it then. And that hat might in fact just be a funnel cake that I'll put on my head for whatever period of time I need to officially deem it a hat. But while the game is so stripped down, at least they try to do the few things they do well. Step charts animate well, the dancing characters animate well, and the backgrounds behind said dancing characters aren't too distracting. The biggest problem though is that all the notes are flat by default, which in non-DDR freak terms means that there's no visual distinction between steps on the down and up beats. 